Thanks, Ellen. It is time for In Other News. We're going to take a look at the news stories that may not be on your radar, but they should be. A new poll found that four out of 10 millennials don't use deodorant. Nearly 40% of 18 to 24 year olds say they haven't applied deodorant in the last month. That story again, millennials stink. And you wonder why you can't find jobs or a spouse. Your priorities are all wrong. You spend money on $6 coffee and avocados. You know how expensive avocados are? This is the root of all your issues that can be solved with a stick deodorant. I hope you're listening, Gio. I see you writing something I'm down. writing notes. There you go. Taking old, them down. Old Spice to do you good. In other news, <laughs> sheriff's deputies in Alabama say they rescued an attack squirrel during a raid. Now, they were tipped off prior that the man they were looking for kept a squirrel in his apartment and fed it meth, quote, to keep it aggressive. His real crime is wasting meth, because I've never seen a non-aggressive squirrel. Those crab apples and acorns would have sufficed. Of course, we know he didn't have any black squirrel like the ones we see on Wisconsin Avenue, because they strictly take boat. In other news, it is being reported that Tony Robbins, if you get that joke, get, go to a meeting. It's been reported that Tony Robbins punishes followers who fail at his self-help task by making them drink an unidentified brown mixture. Now, many believe that it was a laxative, but his lawyers say it was pickle juice, apple juice, lemon juice, tomato juice, and a dash of Tabasco. Now, that's actually not too bad. I thought they were going to say it was E&J. But honestly, just when I thought Ayanla had unconventional ways of helping people, Tony Robbins was like, hold my drink, literally. And finally, a model and painter influencer is defending herself after critics pointed out her painting photos don't actually show her painting. In her defense, what influencer have you ever seen work? Let me know what you think of these stories using the hashtag GetUpDC. All right, it is 611 to 73 degrees. A pregame practice turns into a trip to the ER for one Nats player. And you look at it in slow motion, I mean, this has to be a broken nose. And now people are wondering if Max Scherzer will even make it to the mound tonight. Sports director Darren Haynes gives his take next.